I feel like we're filming like a 2014 YouTube video. <laughs> it's we just haven't dark filmed out. any YouTube videos in like four months, and now we've got like a bloody tripod out. Like this feels. Well, it's because we've even got an audience as well. <laughs> an audience of two. Ottilie and Mum. So, hello everybody. We thought we would make a little video to come back and introduce you to Ottilie. Obviously, I'm aware that I left kind of quick. I had two other videos that I was gonna um, edit and upload. I've still got them. I'm still gonna upload one of them. One of them was a vlog and it was gonna be like the vlog before she's here, where I talked all about like, there's not gonna be a proper like typical vlogmas this year and like, I'm really excited and see you later guys, gonna give myself a little bit of maternity leave and I just. The update you were expecting that you never got. Yeah, I did obviously update people on Instagram, but I am aware not everybody here is following me over on Instagram. So this could be the first time you are like seeing us or hearing from us in like four months that. time. Yeah. So some people watching this literally might just be like, did they have the baby? Did what you have happened? the baby? <laughs> I did say, make sure you're following me on Instagram or at least check in on my Instagram yeah. if you don't. I'm sure people have had a little Google just to yeah, be like, what's going on? That, that's where, where we've, we've put all our updates over the last couple of months. So it's not been radio silence, but it has been nice just not thinking about filming and editing and getting to spend lots of quality time with her and us just figuring everything out and being parents for the first Learning time. Learning as we go. We just felt like it's Christmas time. Obviously you guys know this is like my favourite time of year and I think in the back of my mind, even though I told myself like January is when I'm going to start like thinking about work things, I knew I would want to film some kind of festive content because I love it and I know you guys love it and it's not the typical vlogmas you're used to but I'm sure there'll be a couple of videos here in December that will get you in the festive spirit. And I'm sure you understand. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I did say on my Instagram and everyone was so, so lovely and they were like, obviously, <laughs> like, obviously you're not gonna be doing Vlogmas. So should we introduce you? Also, I feel like, I just wanna say, I know this is your video, <laughs> she's not a tiny newborn anymore. <laughs> yeah. Like she is, she's Come 14 on, weeks old. So you, you could be expecting like this tiny, delicate little newborn. She's like already just chilling, holding her head up now because it's been, Three, four yeah, months. I said that to you, didn't I? I was like, yeah. for anyone that doesn't have Instagram, we're gonna be like, meet Ottilie, and they're gonna be like, wow, she's... Big old baby, how did, bloody hell. How did you get her out? <laughs> Here she is. Wow, you like lights, right. don't you? She's probably staring at the ring light, like, whoa. And thinking? that's all she can really contribute at the minute. <laughs> Oh, and obviously, Nala's obviously, crawling in for the that's... she knows, Nala knows. Um, but yeah, this is Ottilie Rue, Ottilie Rue Days, born on the 29th of August. A little, couple of weeks early. Little Virgo, like her daddy, and like everyone else in our family, basically. She was like, no, I'm not going to be the odd one out. It'd be interesting to know in the comments who you feel that she looks most like, because sometimes we look at her and she is like carbon copy of Zoe and Joe. Right now and she looks like you, Alf. I, all I'm seeing... Like me and my sister. All I'm seeing in yeah, the viewfinder is you. Hey? Hey? Uh, hey? What are you talking? She's loving that ring light. She's like, wow. You're gonna smile. Yeah, it would be interesting, because yesterday we all we could see was Joe. Sometimes all we could see is Poppy. Sometimes she looks just like Alfie and sometimes she looks like me, so I guess. Would make sense that she is our child. She is. <laughs> she is like a perfect little blend. Should we pass you to Nana now so we can Gonna film the video? Have a <gasps> yeah. <laughs> is she smiling at you? <laughs> She's so confused. We just thought it'd be nice to actually start this, like introducing you to her and um us just being like, hi. <laughs> I did actually ask on my Instagram if you had any questions that you would love us to answer um, in this kind of coming back video. And so I've screenshotted some and Alfie is also gonna do something similar uh, at the start of his video. So you can go and watch both to get kind of like a amalgamation, is that the word? Amalgamation mm -hmm. of Bigger questions. Picture. How did Alfie feel when you were giving birth? I mean, that could be a whole separate video. So just for any of you that might not know, very, very quick, like, rundown of how things happened with the birth. I went for a scan at 38 weeks, mm -hmm. exactly, and her... Abdomen. Her abdomen percentile had dropped lower than the... Average. Average 
that it should have been. Everything was very on like the 50th percentile, not to go into too much detail, but everything was basically on like 50th percentile like the whole way, including her head size, which is amazing because I've got the biggest head. <laughs> and they were like, mm, we'll keep an eye on this, blah, blah, blah. And then they were like, no. Let's, let's induce you. Let's induce you. I would rather she was putting on the weight outside of you than this continue to drop. So we were like, probably the biggest shock of my life. I don't think I said so that. So we're like, okay, so what does that mean? Alfie was like, were like, are you okay? I was like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, but you, no, but you haven't said what they said. We're sitting there oh. getting the results. <laughs> and she's like, have you got your bags with you? We're like, no. And like, is it like your bags in case you go into labor kind of thing? And we're like, no. She's like, all right, well, I would have said come and like stay in now if you had your bags, but go home, stay tonight, come back in tomorrow. So long story short, I was induced. <laughs> on the Friday, had her on the Sunday morning. I can't even remember what the question was at this point. How we did you we feel? just rambled so much. How did How I feel? How did you feel during my birth? I mean, a million different feelings. Looking back and reflecting, I was really calm and not shocked. I think because we'd done so much prep with like hypnobirthing and we'd spoken to so many different people about how I could be the most beneficial for you being there. Yeah. I was just like, prepared. Like I was just ready. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas I look back now, I filmed everything. Everything. Like, everything no, it's not going online it's not going online <laughs> ever but I, filmed... I did show maddie the other day <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> i filmed everything you can ever imagine when i one day edit the footage it'll be a really nice video um not for online but when i watch any of those clips back i'm like yo that's pretty intense mm. but at the time it was like we're going through a process it felt like do you think because I was induced, and it was quite like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, there was enough time in between things happening. happening for it to like, if that all happened very, very quickly, I wonder if you wouldn't have been yeah. as calm. I don't know, Alfie, I always knew Alfie would be amazing because those are the situations in life where Alfie is, is like, it's like you were born to be in those situations. Like, I like, I like a step up under pressure. Yeah, like you love that. like an environment where it's like you know you can be the one that's like, I don't know, mm. in charge. Like Alfie was like, I'm here and I'm going to do the best job ever. But also we had the most amazing midwives, which I'm sure everybody has because I just feel like to be a midwife is just like a personality type that is yeah. amazing. Everyone that was there at the hospital that we like we're going through the process with was unbelievable so we're incredibly lucky there and they guide you through it so you felt you feel really uh like you know what's going on at all times do you yeah. know what i mean they very very much kept us in the loop when i was pushing what was going through your head it felt really calm because you were really calm yeah we had like a nice I had playlist an <laughs> just so you know <laughs> we had a nice that's why I was calm. playlist <laughs> playing like <clears throat> i don't know there wasn't it, it, one part of you that was like, oh, this could go wrong, or what happens if the, if her head doesn't come out? Or... No, because I'm just like, if we were doing a home birth, then I think so, because I'd be like, what do we do if things... Go? Because we're like... Around people we're who at know. the place yeah. where if anything happens, that's where like you need to be. I don't know. It was amazing. Yeah, it was a very, very positive experience. I think we were very experience. lucky that we had such yeah. a positive experience. Um, which you don't often hear about with induction. So if there's any of you watching this who fears induction or is about to have an induction, I had a really, really, really positive experience. So it can happen. Does she look more like baby Alfie or baby Zoe? Uh, do you know what? Depends. She actually looks more like baby Poppy than baby Alfie. Yeah, she looks more like baby Poppy. Yesterday she looked like baby Joe. Yeah. Like, exactly like baby Jo. She does look a lot, I think sometimes she looks a lot like me as a baby. I and think it's Poppy. either you or Poppy. The story behind her name, it's so pretty. I saw the name years ago, and I'd, already, I'd always had, and I did put this on my Instagram, I'd always had Olive as a name that yeah. I loved. I love O names, I don't know why. Really liked O names. I like the look of an O name. Yeah, yeah, I think I, I think do, cool. I think that's why I liked it. And I was like, Olive, when we have a baby. For years, wasn't it? Mm. Then I would say about, Six years ago, I'd heard the name Ottilie, and I was like, oh, I've never heard of that before, but I absolutely love it. I love what it looks like. It's an O name. 
I like that it's got like T's and L's and it's really pretty and I love that it it's looks French great. sounding. Have we got anything with it written down now? No. no. I love that it has so many nickname variations. You've got Otty, you've got Tilly, you've got Ollie. And so Otterly became like a name that I put on my baby list. And I was like, the minute I got pregnant, I was like, if this is a girl, this just isn't an olive. I mm. always thought it would be, and I was just straight away, I was like, it's not olive. And I was like, it's Otterly. Wasn't it like day one when we found out? Yeah, we were going through, I remember we were going through my the list, list and it was just like, that's this was like the good list of like my good list and your good list and we were just like no 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 like through the good list and we we're like oh my gosh mm -hmm. and then yeah that was it we yeah just like, that's the one obviously so we wanted to see her and meet her first yes. but... so there wasn't really there's not really a s huge story behind it we just really really liked the name super we different we hadn't heard it much yeah um and it was just really we just thought it was a really really pretty name and then the middle name rue not gonna lie i loved it off just... hunger games and just sounds <laughs> nice, sounds nice, I looks nice. I was even like, do we need to do a middle name? Like, I've never used my middle name, but then my sister only uses her middle name. Like, my sister's name isn't Poppy. My sister's name's Emma, and her middle name is Poppy. So I'm like, maybe a middle name. You're like, I think middle name like looks really nice. It flows like Otterly Roo days. And yeah. actually, a lot of the times I'm like, hello, Otterly Roo. Like, yeah. I do use it. Um, but yeah, Rue, I just, I've also loved, and it's just mm. been on my baby name list for a long time because I watched The Hunger Games and really liked the name. And you liked it too. Yeah. Lots of people asking how to pronounce it, but I didn't think that would be a so thing. Many. We've had people pronounce it in the weirdest, Otily. strangest, Otily. Or is it Otily? Or Otily. 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 <laughs> just Otily. Just Otily. as it is. To be honest, I or think call it Otty. Yeah, we probably yeah. just use Otty the most. Um, does she have any type of personality yet? Somebody asked me this yesterday. I think. I think. Oh, so you go No, 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 you go. No, 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 you go. Go on. You go. I think, I thought, she, I was saying this to mum this morning, I thought she was going to be this shy, little, like, she is a... No, she's Virgo. She's, she's a Virgo. She's she a Virgo. is going to be a chatterbox. She already is. She talks, like not talks, obviously. Like, Guys, just... she's three months and she's already talking. <laughs> she's crazy. Really expressionate. Very expressionate. Like, really with her expressionate. Face, which is yeah. what me and Joe were like as babies. Yeah. Like we could make all the faces. She does this thing where it's like once you wake her up, she she's like super happy and loves it. And then when you pick her up, if you like show her to other people, if you take her, she'll like giggle and then turn her face and like push and it into hide. your chest and hide. And it's like she's not shy. Like she's like. <laughs> Yeah, she like giggles and then puts her face like into you. And I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you, why are you hiding? Why are you, like, you know what you're doing. There's like a little hint there coming through of like playfulness. Thank you guys so much for your patience um, and for allowing us to have this time with her. You don't ever get that time back. So it was really important for us to put the cameras down, mm. put the laptops down and just take in every single second. And I've really, really enjoyed doing that. And so special being able to do that and both having a job where we can do that as well. Yeah, we felt very, so very lucky. It's really, really we cool. Were. What I might do here is just insert a couple of little clips that Alfie and I have taken over the last kind of three months um, of Otterly just being cute and growing up just so that you can see what she did look like when she was first yeah, born when she's... Um, as opposed to kind of what she looks like now. And then, uh, yeah, I've got a couple of little vlog clips to go over. But as I said, I have also got the third trimester video, which I did film when I was pregnant, which I do still really want to upload because so many of you have watched the first and second and I just feel like it's a bit weird for me mm. to just skip one out. Um, so if that's okay with you guys, I'm gonna also edit that. So you will see that going up after this at some point, but don't be alarmed. Um, I'm not pregnant again. <laughs> It'll just be something that I didn't get time to edit, obviously, because I ha had uh, 24 hours to go <laughs> to go into hospital. Um, so yeah, see you in a bit.
project get the christmas decorations out is starting for having ottilie alfie and i did a huge clear out of our basement like huge um it was kind of like that episode of sort your life out that stacy solomon does which fyi if you've not watched any of those episodes oh my god it is the most wholesome warm motivating program ever basically it was like an episode of that we got the whole basement out um in the summer and we just put everything out on the lawn so alfie and i went through everything on the lawn and decided what to um like reuse recycle donate or for anything that was like just past saving throw away um so we did that and it was actually quite fun i quite enjoyed it um but it does mean now that fingers crossed it's much easier for us to now pull out our christmas decorations and to actually see what it is we've got and know where it's going and it's just gonna make life so much easier so let's see if all our hard efforts from the summer have paid off the only frustrating thing is in our basement there's like this half height section now the amount of heads that have been knocked on this you can actually you can stand up a little bit more under here but you do have to kind of bend down when you're in here um and i also think we need to get past the autumn and halloween decorations which i didn't even touch this year <laughs> so most unlike me but that is what having a newborn um has meant <laughs> all of my autumn and halloween stuff stayed in the boxes um, and the christmas stuff is beyond that so i think this is gonna be a bit of a workout i didn't get to use my box of random scary masks this year <laughs> oh a little easter box i feel like we'll be opening that like before you know it The hair's gone up. That's when you know I mean business. Not your back. Oh, the vlog camera is out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we need that one. Ouch. Oh no. Oh my god, we need to get the trees. The trees are even further back. The trees are behind these boxes. Okay. That have you seen how high I stacked it? Yeah, that's why you're gonna have to take them out. When I was stacking it, I was loving it. And now I'm hating it. How did you even stack them that high? Yeah. I don't know. Because can you even take that off? I can take it off, but do you know how heavy it is? Oh my god. Holy shit. Maybe you were um, stronger in the summer. <laughs> I actually was. <laughs> no, like I actually was. I, I was working out, wasn't I? I'm excited for us to go back into Hello. this. Hello. Yeah, same. I've only just recovered from birth. <laughs> now I'm going to put my back oh, out. Oh no, this is the big one, isn't it? What? The tree we need. Yeah. Do you know where I put it? At the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> To be fair, we do need all the trees, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, we've moved the table. We've got the tree. We've got no, elf. Like yesterday that we were literally putting this away. I know. <laughs> it was so recent. Oh, watch the... Whoa. I don't want to be waking someone up. <gasps> oh my God, I'm so excited. Mama, it's Christmas. And we've got the fire on. It's ultimate cosy. And I was just saying, I feel like this is the perfect time of day to decorate the tree because it's just getting dark. So it will look all finished by the time it gets dark. Wow, it's so bushy. Isn't it? I've never oh, Poppy's here. She's just down here. <laughs> She's working. <laughs> Isn't it? It's so a light's already on. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is, is gonna like, make me want a fake tree. Yeah, oh my god, it will. It just falls down and wait. You know I love no. a real oh tree. Oh my god. You know I love a real tree, but there is something very efficient about a what? fake tree. <laughs> mm. 
No. That's really? it. When you kept saying how you put the tree up, I was thinking it's going to take hours. No. Yeah. That's it. And then the top, but then you just connect the wires. <laughs> That's insane. Do you have to like spread it out with it? Yeah, fluff it all out. That takes a little bit of time. Wow, very cool. It's cool though, isn't it? Nice. For anyone wondering, it's a little cheeky little balsam hill. They do very, very good sales, so keep, if you are after a balsam hill, which has lasted us a good few years, we've never had any issues with it either, um, good ones to keep in mind. They do lots of different heights, lots of different styles, and yeah, and they do do very, very good sales, so one to think about. Do you need help connecting these? Yeah, just trying to find all the little bits now. Yeah, you sort of have to get in there and find them. The lights are all on. Right, you tell me how far to put Just it. into the corner. I know, I just don't want to scratch the floor. Do you want me to help you? I think it's got rubber. It has. Also, we're not going to leave it plugged in here, just FYI. <laughs> okay, now, yeah, there's perfect. If you just want to stay there until January. That far in? Yeah, a little bit more that way. I told him his father had never even known that he was born. And most importantly, I told him where his father was. Yeah. Magical land called Lovely, there. yes. There. That Maybe is perfect. I'm going to go and get the little step ladder so I can fluff it out. Oh, not going to know what's here. I know. She's going to be like, whoa there, what is that? <laughs> whoa. She's proper looking. Is she? Should we go a bit closer? Wow. Look at that. <laughs> She's half asleep. Like, what is going on? Is that pretty? Wow. Should we decorate it? I'm probably going to get copyrighted, so I'm going to make this very quick, but I'm now going to put all of these on here. Okay, I think pretty much done a couple of new ones that i am obsessed with is this one from anthropology which is like next level <laughs> and this one from paper chase because i absolutely lived off of these in my first trimester which i thought was a little nice little nod to the year and then this one which also was a cute little nod to the year is like a little nursery and this was from anthropology it even has a mobile in it and a cot and cut like it's insane um so those are some of the new ones that i am loving and then this one this was from paper chase st nick's flicks christmas flicks and chill it's like an actual 3d tv love it i have one more to put on but i'm gonna do it with ottily because it's a little snow globe with an o in it and it says 2021 so this is her little ornament and i think where did I, I left a space for it here which i'm gonna hang on there you ready do you see this yeah it's proper looking at it that's your ball ball 